The first day we school was happy in the paddock. There was a photographer that took a picture of me and I was in a dress and boots and posted it and said, oh, groom with her horse. And someone else was like, are you a hot walker? And I was like, no, I'm the trainer. It's a little frustrating sometimes. <laughs> Around the track, Maria Burrell stands out a bit, but that doesn't mean she's not exactly where she belongs. I fell in love with the sport of horse racing, watching the derby with my dad when Sunday Silence won in 89. I was six years old. And I still feel the same way watching my own horses run. Like it's such an adrenaline rush and you get so nervous and maybe it'll go away, but my heart still pounds and my horse is on the track. There's nothing like it. That memory left its mark on Burrell, the image of Sunday Silence now emblazoned on her permanently. Burrell's lifelong ambition has been training horses but success in that pursuit was elusive. I was in a pretty dire situation before this horse came along, but it's been hard. I mean, there's been a lot of tears. <laughs> it's been a long road. Burrell has worked as an exercise rider, an assistant trainer, and then a veterinary technician. She finally assembled a stable of a few cheap horses, but never won a single race as trainer. Then, this past spring, she got a call from this guy. What's up is a great new way for you to buy a mattress without ever leaving home. Time is money, and the time to save is right now. Run, don't walk to Gallery Furniture Giant Marathon Sale. Gallery saves you money. Jim McInvale, known as Mattress Mac, owns a furniture business in Houston, and he's also the owner of a speedy sprinter named Run Happy. Here comes Run Happy, moving through from the inside. Run Happy just moves right by, gets the lead, and opens it out to two and a half. Run happy, impressive in his debut. After his second race, Run Happy was sidelined with a hairline fracture. And McInvale needed someone in Kentucky to get him back to health. A friend suggested a young trainer who hadn't had much success, but who did have some veterinary experience and whose horses were well cared for. And it's like, okay, what do I have to do to get this horse in the barn? <laughs> what do I need to do? Burrell brought Run Happy along with rehab that required frequent swims. Run Happy quickly returned to four. The first time I saw him breeze out here, and I was just like, he can't help but put a grin on your face. Like, you mean the worst mood ever and see that horse go, like being a horse lover and, you know, a racing lover, and just be like, wow. I know, too much going on, huh? Run Happy. It's kind of like a spoiled dog at this point. He's very sweet, and of course he's feeling really high on himself. He thinks he's like a prince. Sunday Silence provided Burrell with inspiration, but Run Happy has secured her career, and years of persistence have paid off with the horse she's waited a lifetime to find. He's given me hope that, you know, I can actually do this for a living, and I mean, now everybody knows my name. People that wouldn't talk to me before, like, say hello now. It's very weird.